sensitivity went up a bit. Let me know. That's what the volumes are in. Maybe a touch loud, actually. Not sure. Shots, man. Oh, nightmare, man. Gonna kill anybody with this shit. up a med kit you really need. Reminds me of that damn walrus and Banjo Kazooie, the sound they make. I don't know what kind of default sound that is, but it's it's like the same thing for sure. Let's have a slight delay. Mm, I didn't play it on PC, but it kind of had a slight delay, maybe. I don't recall it ever being like a level of it being an issue though. Everything was pretty snappy. <clears throat> but he does kind of like crank up an animation before he does the jump. But maybe. That's it's really hard for me to say. I, I didn't have an issue. But it might have been there. Because he kind of like, you know, he, do, he does the kind of like little mini, like slightly. Preps his jump and shit before he actually goes. But it doesn't take long. So you're starting up Sekiro. You just call it good on uh, Dark Souls. Input delay. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about the PC version, but I didn't have a problem with the speed of things. Input delay would suck considering the parry timings and shit. Oh, hell. Is that like grass up there? The grassy plains of hell. For you. Yeah, it's hard for me to say. It's borderline shit. It's a little more open ended. Yeah, I said, like, no material here, man. No ammo and shit. Yeah, I guess the second area does have some rough ones, or the second half. Last time we talked about it, 
Said I liked the boss as well enough, but yeah, I guess the areas can be whatever. Lost Eyes of this one of the worst areas in the game. The Crypt's pretty shit. New Londo's not the best. Um, Duke's Archive's okay. Yeah, Lost Isolith was made by some random person, I think. Some intern type of thing. It's one of their biggest regrets in the series. You're almost done. And once you do those areas, that's, that's pretty much it. Other than the DLC, and the DLC is actually good. Oh, you finished. Shit. Did you do the DLC? You might like, you're done with the Souls mainline series, I guess. Oh, you didn't know there wasn't? Yeah, that's one of the best parts of the game, I'd say. It should just come with it. It's the, uh... Artorias to the Abyss shit. Ash Lake. Yeah, it's a good secret. And the trip to Blight Town. <clears throat> That's what more of the DLC is like in two. Most people don't like Blight Town, but it's usually because it destroys their computers and shit. Or, or it used to. Yeah, the DLC is about like the darkness and shit. The abyss. It's good. It's got good bosses. Most of them are pretty pretty quick. Level design's not bad. I, I would recommend playing the DLC for sure. It's got one boss that's pretty hard. I didn't. I think the DLC bosses are better than the last half. They changed uh, the skull guy, skeleton guy. Oh, really? Yeah, they're not like hard. <coughs> Even Gwen's not too bad. If you do it right. I'd say the DLC bosses are a little harder. I need fucking ammo, man. I want to fly and fly. Yeah, no, I mean, that's just me, because... I like all the Souls games pretty well. Jesus Christ. Just a lack of ammo right now. Shoot ammo? Yeah, it's pretty light on the ammo. Yeah, like I said though, I think the boss design gets better in 3. 2 is shaky. There's more, like, humanoid bosses, but there's also a lot more just shit bosses. 3s are a lot more tuned. 
I learned a lot from Bloodborne. I do think the DLC for the first game's got pretty decent shit, though. Calamite's one of the hardest bosses in the game. I only died a few times, but that's the boss you'll hear a lot. Two of the bosses are probably one of the best bosses in the, in the whole game. And the other one's just kind of like your tutorial boss. Doesn't take long to get through, it's pretty boss heavy. It's weird how you get there. I think they might have changed how you get to it. It has to do with uh, beating the Hydra and then talking to an NPC there and then grabbing something from a crystal golem in the beginning of Duke's archive. And then you go back to the lady and talk to her and you can teleport. They might have changed it. <clears throat> oh, you didn't do it before. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. They get rid of that. And I think all of them afterwards. <laughs> the side quests are always very ambiguous and hard to figure out in Souls. It's not something that I never expect anybody to do their first time, or without some kind of guidance. It's pretty silly. It's worse than three. But I only played three once, so... Yeah, that never changes. Bloodborns are like a little better, but they're still about the same. Sekiro's are some of the easier ones. That game plays more like a normal kind of side questy thing. There is a lot of hidden shit in Sekiro. I'd still recommend looking up a lot of stuff near the end. Not too much missable shit though. I mean, you can have certain NPCs not make it or something at certain points in the story. Certain endings are missable. But you can unlock all the endings and then just, like, choose which one you want at the end. <clears throat> people can like it so much. I think the parts you just really didn't like is parts that people really do like. I agree with you on most points, but I think, like, the bosses and shit. Nice people like a little more. I mean, Dark Souls 1 kind of has, like, a nostalgia now. At the time, it was probably cooler. But it's been kind of like outdone. I feel like gameplay wise by like other uh, entries in the series. Like I don't mind the slower pace of the combat and planning out the shit a little more. but I do enjoy the speed of the later ones. <sighs> oh, that was it. <laughs> Repetition. Oh, you mean like dying and redoing shit? Yeah. I don't mind the speed of the exploration. The dying and redoing shit I've never been a fan of, but that kind of stops after the first one. And any great I'm out. They really like the runbacks in the first one because I mean it was falling up Demon Souls, which is stage based. So. Oh, I need to see where the fucking secret level is here.
Call for the new Doom. Nobody plays the old ones, man, for the first time much anymore. Oh, it's in this one. Yep. Alright. I won't look up where it is, but I'll try it and make sure not to miss it. If I do miss it, I'll just warp to it. Then we'll just go straight to three from there. Oh, there won't be any different then. I didn't mind the locations as much. I enjoyed the variety. <clears throat> I guess 2 has variety, but they're a little different. I guess there's more driving force in the story of 2. Well, that's kind of one of the things with Souls, and it's something people like, is the more kind of stories in the background, and a lot of it's told through like lore and shit. Sekiro's got more of an upfront story. Bloodborne's atmosphere is just so atmosphere so tits up, and the lore is easy enough to understand that you can get into that more. But I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, I definitely could understand that not being into the like ambiguous kind of like storytelling and shit. I kind of like it because it adds the yeah, like exploration, but. Look at all the other runes for me. Yeah, I respect that. And definitely not something for everybody. I could see where people might not like a lot of it. How'd they give you these things and then there's like no reason to use them? I'm just gonna run out, dude. The last fucking bullet. Well, this the thing is, like, Dark Souls is just kind of like a 3D Metroidvania. I mean, it borrows a lot of the same things boss heavy stuff, a lot of exploration, a lot of weapons. Like, I've seen games try to copy Dark Souls in 2D, but then it ends up just being like a certain type of thing, you know, but like a little harder. They're like the same formula. Yeah, Hollow Knight's tight. I like Hollow Knight a lot. story is more followable and obviously the game plays a little tighter but I 
I don't know, I'd have to replay Dark Souls 1. I wonder if I'd still like it as much. I liked it quite a bit when I first played it, but... I played it quite a few times since then. But after Bloodborne and shit, maybe the, uh... Be spoiled by... The upgrades they've made. Plenty of health here, but <clears throat> not much of the rest. Like they've been giving you a lot of ammo, man. Very light on ammo. I think it's because a lot of enemies now are just like. Super tanky. I think it makes for a better uh, bit of tension and smarter play, but I don't know if I love it. I don't hate it. It's interesting. It's trash. Fitting for the final stretch. Yeah, I guess tone wise it would be. I think it's a good way to show that they expect you to have the difficulty down a little more. It's not just like you could play this one every, like, <clears throat> it feels harder than the other ones. Harder enemies and... Less ammo and shit. I don't know how we get into there. Not go over here yet. That's what it was. Oops. The exploration's a little more important right now. That's for sure. One. 
That's what the invincibility would be used for. I think I'll get that super armor. Oh, it ruins it? Yeah, that's lame. <clears throat> I don't want the difficulty just, like, for them to ramp up the difficulty, meaning it's just less ammo every time. Or they have it being level design and placement of enemies and stuff like that. I mean, I don't mind having ammo be a part of that. But I don't want it to be, like, the driving reason you're getting fucked. How do I get to this body armor? Oh, it's this. I think once this goes up, you can't go back. That sucks. I can never tell what's like a one-time thing and what's like comes back down. Sounds like it's almost bugged over there. Hopefully there's not like a secret level there. I'm worried about the secret level. Those are usually really heavy on... Heavy on dudes. Too much of that. Unless I got to. I want to see what it would do. Exit, but supposed to be a secret exit somewhere. Well, it's not tied to that body armor secret. I mean, that was missable, so. Special here. I figure out where it might be. I 
I don't know if crouching is in the original game either. I doubt it. I'm not even gonna bother. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, definitely not. <clears throat> Probably on Mac or that too, but I don't think I'd ever accidentally hit it. Yeah, we might not get the land quick, cause I'm not gonna camp it either. I, I haven't been streaming enough, and I'd like to be. I mean, I'll still be on the game every day. Just kind of before and after some of the streams, but I just hope we get lucky. There's not much else we can do about it. That's why I said we'll put the money in the chest, see if we can get on and check, and vice versa and shit. Crouching wasn't the original? Okay. Yeah, I figured as much. So I don't see any like level design around it. Hmm. Wait, is this mission two? Wait, I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh, it's mission six. For some reason I thought this was uh, episode four. <clears throat> I was like, man, I really don't see a secret level here. Okay, we're good. We're done then. So we're at the end of the main game before the expansion, then I think. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I've got no intention on using it for anything other than the house. Since that's mainly you guys, I mean, I, I want the house shit, but... <sighs> Until we get it, I don't even know how much I'll do with it. just want it there for people to... Do their trade skill stuff for fun and customize it how they will. I don't really need money that badly either. Not three million at least. <clears throat> we could. Oh, well, we'll do it in Shadowbringers. Once the clans rank 8. We'll just open it anyways. It's 
What's up, you guys? I'm not gonna like do any community shit, but. People just wanna be there, that's totally fine. Like a social clan. Special way to shoot dudes. The chat going? Yeah, it's fine. I'm sure there is. I think there's like FC recruitment channels and stuff. You're not gonna find me like actually. What the fuck? This just seems like bait. People apply, you can just plop them in. I'm not gonna advertise in the fucking saucer or nothing. <laughs> like I see some guilds do. Tries to stream here. Yeah. Oh, should that go well? Might go run later. Might do like a run break later on in the stream. Before it closes, which in the next six hours probably. Yeah, exactly. Watch as he takes month break from the FC. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Switch. some of the other weapons a little more. Well. Maybe it's because the enemies are trying to open the door at the same time or something? I'm not sure what was going on there. I didn't stream yesterday it was my freaking acid problem or whatever the fuck was bothering me but I was kicking back up a little bit not like pain for me it's just like distracting secret them
Yeah, for this episode, I'll take that break. One episode, then come back. I'd like to hit that before it gets too busy. Oh, big boy here. Fifth one. I think it said the sixth one was where we could find a secret level. Don't want to miss it though. I'll look it up. Guys, okay, time in. There we go. These are like teleporters. Teleporter to get out. <laughs> what happens when they do that, man? They actually go somewhere. Classes have that. I think Bard's like just one of those like weird exceptions. 
What a uh, aggro wipe does Bard have, if any? Fellas, oh, do you just like open with that then? Spawn all these. 